why is it not that some of my colleagues on the other side will acknowledge the reality that the revenues coming into the government are the lowest level since President Eisenhower was the president? What is it about that reality that the other side of the aisle will not embrace? Is it that they don't believe the fact? Do they disagree with that fact? Do they have some other facts to put on the table? Because if they do, I will listen to that. I've not heard anyone question that. So that is a fact I would like to start with because it helps us to frame the debate, which is we cannot rearrange the passengers on the Titanic and suggest that we're doing anybody a favor. We have to bring more revenues and 600 million to my friend from Missouri, 600 billion is not enough. We have a four trillion dollar problem. We've already put cuts cuts to spending that some people think is too high. I'll agree that it is in some areas. We've already done 1.2 trillion. Did the other side expect us to do, what is that, 2.8 trillion more? What revenues are going to come? That is the solution that we're looking